Hi everyone and thanks so much for tuning in for another video. This is Sharon and today I wanted to share two layouts I created using the Paper Niche Design Kit that's available for purchase at their store. So um, these two layouts are layouts of my daughter and they're very different layouts, completely, completely different. One is very grungy and dark and then the other one's super girly and pastel and shabby. So um, the first one I wanted to share is this one that you see right here. And everything on this layout was included in the kit. Um, except the black cardstock. That's all. That's the only thing that wasn't included. So um, this is a very um, cool layout because I love how the crown looks in her head and I cut that out out of one of the papers that was included in the kit and then I added bling to it. Um, there was one of the coordination sheets that had clocks on it. I distressed them, cut them out, and then I put them all around. And um, then I added some, what do you call it, corrugated cardboard in the back, some lace over here. Then some layering. This is one of the ephemera parks, e ephemera uh, papers from the ephemera pack um, that was included in the kit. This is um, just strips of the paper collection which I distressed and pop dot, you know, pop dot it. As you could see, I really wanted it to be dimensional, and it is a very dimensional layout, as you can see. From both sides. These butterflies are from a die, a CC Designs die that I love, and it, they're so pretty. Um, and I just added bling in the center of them. I added two little game pieces that were in the kit as well. Then um, I cut out of um, lightweight chipboard this clock. It's from a Tim Holtz die. Um, I didn't add any title or journaling just because just her face is like oh it's just gorgeous in this picture I love it and it was so hard for me to get this picture you don't understand um, this was actually um, the picture that I put on our Christmas cards last year um, but um, I have a story to tell I'm probably gonna do some journaling not in the front there is a little spot for journaling right here you know, in this little pocket that I made. But I'm probably going to put the whole story in the back of the layout, which is what I do sometimes when I just, you know, embellish up the front. And I was want to do something like Queen of My Heart or um, So Pretty or... I don't know. Like, I had a lot of titles, but I just thought that just like this... It was um, enough I, because um, the letters that were included on the kit were a little big and I just didn't find a place for them. The only place that I would think that they would look okay would be here and I decided not to use them. I just decided that this was enough, you know, embellishing all over the place. So I am going to do a lot of journaling in the back. Plus, it kind of almost looks like this is the title. And it's in French, Le Charms de la Opera, whatever, however you say that. But, um, so I didn't, I didn't want to bother with an extra title. I just think the picture speaks for itself. It's so pretty. I really do like it. And, um, I just thought the, um, little pops of red here and there, you know, popped that little red bow that was in her dress. So, um... I really like how this came out. This is a graphic 45 paper that I um, cut around and distressed just to layer onto the black cardstock to have some sort of matting there. So that is that layout. Then the next layout is the super girly shabby one. And it's also um, about my daughter and I love it. It's so pretty and you know, pastel colors, super cute. It's completely different from this layout that you just saw. And here it is. 
completely different and it's using papers from the kit so you know as you can see the kits are so nice there you know you can make all kinds of projects with the materials that are provided in each kit I love them so anyways this is the layout it's really hard to film these kind of things since they're so big I'm gonna have pictures um, on my blog so you can check those out at some scrapperdesigns.blogspot.com so I just did distressing over the edge this is like a pearlescent um, cardstock that I had in my stash and then I did some paper layering and then some more of the prima flowers and then some of the flowers that were included in the kit then some of the you know um, bling that was in the kit then I stamped that Prima stamp again and I stuck it underneath there so I could have some journaling spots here and I titled this silly and again I used the micro beads that I used um, for my uh, mini album that I created this month with the kit and it's just because I love the color and I love the texture it creates it's so super pretty and you know there's the story behind the pictures and I'm probably gonna do a little journaling here but again I'm going to be journaling in the back I'll probably put like a solid piece of cardstock and journal in the back about um, what happened you know when I took these pictures and you know what we were doing and it's so cute um, how all these flowers just put together it looks like a little garden there's a little tag in the back right here and then a little cameo all included in the kit so um, this is it some paper from the London market collection in the back very simple very nice um, I really like these two layouts um, that I made this month and um, I hope you like them too let me put this like this so you don't get any glare so these are the layouts that I wanted to share with you thank you so much for watching um, if you want to check out more pictures check out my blog smscrapperdesigns.blogspot.com I'm always putting stuff up there also you can follow me on Facebook um, you can find me as Sharon SM Scrapper and you know sometimes I put sneak peeks of what's coming up or if I find good deals I you know put up pictures of when Michaels gets new things or if I find something fun or something at Tuesday morning things like that um, so if you're interested in that you could also become my friend on Facebook so thank you so much I really appreciate you watching and I thank you all for your comments I really appreciate those so um, this is it for today I'll talk to you soon bye bye